Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I... What? That's not how that one goes. What's wrong with... Suffer, suffer, scream in pain. Blood is spilling from your brain. Daddy. Come on, you know how I sang it to you. Zombies know Why you like, like a plum. plum. Piercing plum. cries and you succumb. Still work. Welcome to What the Flick, everybody. Uh, Matt Atchity, Christy Lemire, Alonzo Duralde, Ben Mankiewicz, uh, Hotel Transylvania 2. Don't recall one. <laughs> uh, didn't see two. I didn't see one, so I didn't go see oh, two. Right. Because I'd have been totally You're a purist. lost. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. But also being a purist, I showed my kid one before I brought him to two so he wouldn't be lost on well, crucial plot mm, points. That's a good um, parent. I'm just going to say this is the best movie that Adam Sandler and Kevin James, James. Kevin, oh, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin James have made together. I think pretty easily we can say that. Yes? That's damn with faint praise, There you yes. go. <laughs> Better than um, I Declare You Chuck and Larry or whatever it's called. So this is the sequel <laughs> to... <Made> <laughs> <that>. <laughs> <laughs> This is the sequel to Hotel Transylvania. Um, you can still check it anytime you like, but never leave. Yeah, there are more people and more monsters, and there's a baby, which might be a human baby, but it might also be a vampire baby. It's half. It's Renesmee Cullen. Take a look. <laughs> Ever since Johnny and Mavis had their little monster, I've been the happiest vampire in the world. Are we sure he's a vampire? <laughs> Technically, you have until you're five to get your vampire fangs. Oh, he'll get his fangs. He's just like me. Look at him. Blah, blah, blah. I don't say blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'm in love. We've been talking about moving somewhere safer for Dennis. <laughs> but then I'll be all alone. Yeah, don't give me the pouty bat face. We gotta teach this kid how to be a monster. Wow. If we get his fangs to come out, Mavis can't leave. Robbie, you okay out there? <laughs> He's fine. He's blobby. We're so happy you came to visit. I love California. 48 flavors. This place is open all night. Right, sir? Yes. <laughs> She's gonna wanna move. I gotta fix this kid now. How are we doing? How cute! You know who could fix the kid in a snap? Vlad! Hi, Dad. Are we ready to do this? <laughs> Guys, we're running out of time! A lot I laughed movie. a lot too. I sat next to you and we laughed a lot. Yeah, there's yes. like, there's just, they keep the gags coming in a steady barrage, which is great. And um, this, you know, I, I don't know if it's because of director Gendy Tartakovsky, uh, who gave us like Dexter's Laboratory and Samurai Jack, or if it's, I mean, not, I don't know if it's, Sandler co wrote this with Robert Smigel. This is one of those movies where Sandler gets to play another character who is a bit of a reactionary and doesn't like the way that times are changing, but. The movie doesn't treat the people who are ahead of Sandler on the curve as being wrong and stupid, right. as opposed to every other movie that Adam Sandler makes. So yeah. that's a big plus for me. Yeah, I walked out of it thinking, like, this is kind of like Grown Ups too, in, <laughs> in, in the most fundamental ways. Like, yes, he's older and he feels like he's out of touch now, and how mm -hmm. is he going to you know, survive with those, no, darn, these those kids, darn kids? Yeah. Um, but yeah, but there is a but sweetness sweet, and a lightness yeah. to it. Totally. And the pacing is lovely. We talk a lot about animated films that work on various levels, and mm. this really, really works well for both kids and adults. Like, you totally. and I were laughing a lot at the really quick rapid-fire pop culture references and some of the slapsticky stuff, but also kids, like my kid, were laughing at the physical humor, mm -hmm. the cuteness, the weirdness of the monsters. Um, Nick liked Blobby. Oh, great. There's, there's a lot of good... Um, Little visual gags with it's like a giant green jello mold with eyes and arms, and he doesn't talk, but like stuff gets stuck in him, and they use him for various reasons. And uh, no, it's a uh, it's cute. It's about tolerance. It is, but and not in a heavy-handed way, though. No, and yeah. and it kind of wants to, it 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 does sort of eat its cake and have it too in mm -hmm. that department, but not in such a way that I found really terrible. How uh, so? How so? I don't want to give it away. Okay, okay I see. But you know, <laughs> I, I, I think the movie, you know, could 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 
could be a little more daring in that department, but it's all right. It's not. It, it wasn't a deal breaker for me. Uh, new to the cast this time is Mel Brooks. Yes. Playing Vlad, uh, the Adam, Adam the Sandler's, Sandler's dad, dad, which is a nice bit of casting. Yes, I kept me consistently entertained, and I didn't have that usual Adam Sandler thing of, oh my God, you hate the world, and why are you subjecting me to this? So uh, I'm almost ready to forgive him for the cobbler. I was gonna Bet say between this and Spotlight, the, the 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 people behind the cobbler are you know are close to forgiveness. But here's a question though, in in the the Adam Sandler genre, which is its own genre, oh, like, sure. is this truly who he is, or is Grown Ups truly who he is? I suspect that Grown Ups Two is probably closer to the real thing because you don't. Why would you let that out of the bag if it wasn't <laughs> actually you? Like uh, you know that's but that's me. I've never met the guy. I have no idea. I find it baffling only in that, like, clearly there there are, are moments and glimmers of, like, decency and there's hope with Adam Sandler. If, and, but mostly it's crap. All right. <laughs> so, so what is your number then? Uh, I'd give this an eight. This is, this is the thing that Adam Sandler does that I actually like. Yeah, 7.5 for me. So our average is a 7.8. Where is it? Nowhere. There is oh, no. Yeah. Oh, the embargo breaks today. There's an embargo. But no, it's super cute. And like, if this is the thing that your kid wants to drag you to, you will not be miserable at all. You will have so much fun. We laughed a lot. So.